Look at the pig butt worm. Just look at it. Spotted by the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute, its Latin name means the worm that looks like a pig's rump. Its unusual inflated segments help it float instead of crawling along the seabed like its relatives, and the cloud of goo surrounding it acts like a net and helps it catch food. The pig butt worm glows when prodded, and scientists noted a puff of green glowing particles coming out of its mid-dorsal ciliated groove, or what looks like, yeah. It's butt crack. It's bionic ankle time. The agonist antagonist myoneural interface uses electrical proprioceptive charges from residual muscle below the knee. With the agonist and antagonist muscles reconnected again, the device and the brain can read out the complementary tension in the two muscles and are then able to work together to move the new joint to do things like walk inclines and stairs. After just two practice sessions, seven clinical trial participants were able to walk at the same speed as non-amputees, and they noted their joint imitated an ankle's natural movement. So yeah, cyborg ankles, baby. This is the latest in science news. This is Mind Blow. In Dune still suit news, this spacesuit device can allow astronauts on spacewalks to drink their own pee. The new device is about the size of a shoebox and recycles urine using an external catheter with 87% efficiency through a two-step osmosis filter. The remaining 13% of water content remains in the filter as it cannot be extracted. But no word on riding moonworms. Yet. Bill Gates wants you to eat fake butter. A startup named Saver is making fats like butter from carbon dioxide without the need for animals, plants, or farms. Their aim is to cut greenhouse emissions, and their process uses less than one one-thousandth of the water that traditional agriculture does, emits no gas, and uses no farmland. They say it tastes exactly like the real thing because chemically, it is. Researchers believe scaling up their manufacturing to lower the potential price point wouldn't be too much of a challenge because the beauty of the fats is that you can synthesize them with processes that don't involve biology. It's all chemistry. Really taking I can't believe it's not butter to new heights. This is the fastest moving human-made object ever. NASA's Parker Solar Probe was recorded traveling at 635,266 kilometers per hour, 500 times faster than the speed of sound. It's expected to get even faster, topping out at a speed of around 692,000 kilometers per hour in 2025 when it makes its closest approach to the sun. That's the equivalent of going from Tokyo to Washington, D.C. in less than a minute. The probe will reach these speeds using Venus's orbit, using the gravity from Venus as sort of a slingshot. Parker has completed its 20th approach to the sun, coming within 7.26 million kilometers of the layer of ionized gas considered to be the sun surface and should eventually get within 6.12 million kilometers. To withstand the heat from the sun, the Parker Solar Probe's protection includes an 11.4 centimeter carbon composite shield capable of withstanding temperatures of almost 1,371 degrees Celsius, which seems hot. Here's officially the cutest robot I've ever seen. Disney is combining methods from legged robot design, learning-based control, and character animation to design an expressive bipedal robot to focus on character-driven mechanical features. The remote-controlled reinforcement-based learning bot has five actuators in each of its legs and four in its neck, a headlamp, speakers, animated antenna, and illuminating eyes, and the onboard electronics allow it to roam for up to an hour. Their complete system allows for a more believable robotic character, and they hope to implement it in human-robot engagement in various forms of entertainment. But I just want it to be my little buddy. You know sky drones, how about a water drone? An autonomous underwater drone is making underwater data collection much easier. Hydrus allows users to run their own software, and its small size and 4K camera delivers geo-referenced video and imagery for 3D surveying and photogrammetry and lets users deploy it without the need for large vessels, user training, and dive teams. Reducing seabed exploration and surveying costs by up to around 75% compared to traditional diving teams and ROVs, Hydrus lets users do more frequent and extensive underwater surveys. And I just think it looks really cool. 
And now the 1998 Sony Mini Disc commercial that was obviously directed by someone with a foot fetish. Mind Blow is a Patreon supported program thanks to all of my patrons. Join us for two bucks right now. Why don't you record yourself? You know you want it. Yes! <laughs> Recordable portable digital Sony Mini Disc. Make it down to Circuit City and make it with MD.